In terms of uh, challenges that we see coming down the pike that will inform or, or influence what we might do in the classroom, what are the challenges that students will face in the next three to five years or the next five to ten years that we might want to be sensitive to in the way we design our business ethics courses? Um, first and foremost is, um, is globalization, that companies are operating in countries beyond just their domestic environment and that companies are facing competitors from abroad as well. And what this really means is that many of our students will be, uh, will be working in contexts that are different from the one in which they grew up. So being familiar with the different types of norms and mores, the different legal environments in which you'll be operating is crucial, and also having some sensitivity to how you learn to, to operate in different environments is crucial. At the same time, obviously global competition, global operations means that there are clashes, there are differences between the ways different parts of a corporation operate. And there are different standards, both legal and ethical standards, that divide the way um, countries operate and economies within countries operate. And trying to figure out how we can equip our students, one, expose them to those differences, and two, get them to start to wrestle with them rather than operating with the assumption that where they come from is the best solution or that what's done in their country is the only way that it can be done. I think that those are two crucial challenges. Um, and I think, in, in addition, scarce resources is going to be a, a huge issue for us, um, both in terms of energy supply and in terms of water, and starting to think about how our students can both deal with scarcity issues, allocation issues, and thinking about how they can be part of the solution. How can they creatively start initiatives, entrepreneurial ventures that will help us get out of many of these uh, scarcity predicaments that we're likely to face? And finally, I, I think that economic pressures are only going to intensify. And what we know is that when resources are scarce, when economic pressure is on, people are all that much more likely to engage in conduct that they would not otherwise engage in. And I think sensitizing students to that and still sticking to our knitting and doing the basics of business ethics is going to be immensely important over the next several years. People, when, when their back is against the wall, when they're searching for jobs, when their companies um, are, are, are fighting to deliver a profit, um, self-preservation kicks in. And self-preservation is not always the friend of ethics. And helping students learn to wrestle with that burden, bear the burden, and be able to handle themselves and handle those challenges, I think, will be essential.